Hello everyone, welcome to The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Tut. On this program, we're going to have stories from Russia. We're gonna have stories about alcoholism. But let's start in California, where another damn smoking ban has gone into effect. This time, near San Francisco in the small suburb of San Rafael. How many damn sands they have there, huh? Now, uh, <clears throat> smoking will now be illegal there in duplexes, condos, apartments, and other multi-family homes. Yeah, leaders there say that they hope their actions start a wave for politicians across America. Uh-huh. Too bad they didn't get the bright idea to jump off a cliff or a bridge or something instead. Now that would have been a trend among politicians I could have got behind. And, and speaking of politicians, did you know that alcoholism shortens lives more than smoking does? Yeah, uh-huh. New research from uh, Germany found that uh, death rates were two times higher in alcoholic men and four times higher in alcoholic women than smoking was. Uh-huh. I, I bet alcohol is responsible for more accidents and domestic violence as well. But we don't hear any calls to ban alcohol, do we? Oh yeah, wait, they, they tried that once in this country. It was called prohibition. It failed miserably. out of Russia, where the Prime Minister there has called for a nationwide ban on smoking in public areas. What are public areas? Well, that would include anything like parks or even city streets. Now some of you out there may be thinking, ah, big deal, it's all the way on the other side of the world in Russia. Of course, you could be watching this show from Russia and thinking it, it is a pretty big deal. Uh, but, but check this out. In Russia, one-third of the entire population smokes. A third of the entire country. Yeah. You thought smoking bans were tough over here. It's going to be interesting to see how that story plays out. Now, uh, to wrap up the program and put a pretty little smoky bow on top of it, I want to talk about a story covering smoking in cars with children in them. Now, uh, look, my friends, you know that I'm the first one to come out here and defend your right to light up in the, the privacy of your own home or, or even in your own vehicle or, or even in a city park as long as you're not around kids or other people who, who don't like it. That should be your right. If you're not hurting anyone else, you should be able to smoke if you're an adult and you know the risks and you choose to do so. But when it comes to having your children in the car, any children in the car, even if they're not yours, all I have to say is, come on, man, use your head. If you're grown up enough to light up a cigarette and put it to your mouth, 
be grown up enough not to put kids in any danger, all right? A new study shows that smoking in cars exceeds all safe limits of toxicity, all of them, all right? There is no safe cigarette in a car, even with the windows down, if you have children there. So, we don't let women who are pregnant drink alcohol, right? Well, well, they shouldn't do it. We would all agree with that. As a father of six, I'm telling you, if it came down to it, I would support a smoking ban on cars with minors in them. And I hope you do too, because if we're responsible enough to smoke, we should at least be responsible parents and adults as well, right? Right, okay, now that I've upset some of you, We'll see you all next time on the Smoke Report.